kinds of companies listed on exchanges look to reduce their carbon footprint. Oh, um, well, clearly you have the, you know, the obvious ones, which you know, a, lot of, a lot of the larger uh, manufacturing industrial companies were, you know, typically ones that are using coal. So you have a situation where you know, anybody who's using coal as an input for producing uh, you know, a lot of their energy is, is one. Um, I think the goal for us is, again, to, to help use the investment community as a, as a voice, as a way of getting people to reduce their carbon footprint. So part of our job as an index provider is to make things more transparent and bring information to light. So I would argue most investors don't realize, as, of the different companies that they're investing in, what, you know, how much carbon are they releasing you know, into the planet. So I think as an index provider, to the extent we can now you know, look at indexes and say, well, here are a set of companies that have a, have a footprint, um, you know, just bringing that information to market, I think, is going to help you know, cause the companies to take a little bit more interest in reducing that. But are investors really interested at all? This is where you get into, are they investing because of conscience or are they investing because of uh, their wallet, right? And I think this is generally an argument with green. I mean, I think a lot of you know, green or clean energy, um, you could argue that many investors are, are investing in clean energy simply because they expect it to pay off. They think there's going to be a lot of investment both by governments and private entities. And, uh, and by definition, when we see investment in a particular segment, it tends to take off and grow. So yeah, you could argue maybe they're not investing, they're conscious. I, I mean, the good news for me is I think it's, it's, we all benefit, right? So whether or not someone's investing in renewable energy uh, because of their conscience or because of their expectation of performance, I think the end result is still beneficial. So again, if, if we can you know, be more sort of transparent about um, the carbon footprint of, of companies or industries and get investors to make investments based on those, I think directionally it, 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 it all points to the same uh, end goal. People should assume there's going to be investment or regulation that's going to start to you know, limit carbon footprint. So um, you know, I think that's, that's the basic premise. Whether or not that's because of your conscience or not isn't going to matter. The outcome, I think, will be the same, is that in general, companies that have lower carbon footprints should, should do better.